Today I'm going to talk to you about music. Whether you get your music from a royalty-free production library or music from within Soundtrack Pro, often you need the music to match a given duration in your project. Of course you can use the tried and true methods of dicing and splicing and fading, but that often doesn't get you what you want because you want to use the entire piece of music and not just a portion of it. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to send your project over to Soundtrack Pro for the purpose of adding music and adjusting that music to match a given duration. Specifically, we'll be using Soundtrack Pro's Time Stretch command. Here in this timeline, we have a 30 second commercial. As you can see, most of the sound effects have been placed in the timeline, but there's no music. We're going to send this sequence over to Soundtrack Pro as a multi-track project. In the browser, right click on the project and choose Send to Soundtrack Pro Multi-Track Project. In the save dialog that appears, I'm going to name my project Ducati Music Mix and then save it to my hard drive. Once Soundtrack Pro launches, I can see my video as well as all my sound effects tracks that were exported from Final Cut Pro. Since we're going to add some music, let's add another track by pressing Command T. Now let's find some music. Let's go down to the search tab and then scroll down and look for the Ensemble category. You can think of the Ensemble category as a giant production library of pre-composed music in different genres. For example, you have jazz, some bluesy stuff, big band music, and a number of different flavors of music that you can use in your pieces. Since we need an energetic piece for this Ducati commercial, I'm going to scroll down and look for Breakbeat. Let's preview it. Now if you look closely in the name column, you can see that most of these ensemble pieces have the names medium, short, and long next to them. This is because they're pre-composed and cut with various project links in mind. For example, in the search field, you can type in medium, and Soundtrack Pro will bring up only the medium length songs. I'll select breakbeat, medium. I'll go ahead and pause it for now so we don't have to listen to it. Then go to the details tab where I can get information about the song. Notice here under the property section, we can see that the length is 21 seconds long. I don't plan on using the music for the entire project, just a portion of it. Let's go up to the project to see where we want the music to end. I'll play a little piece from about right here. Not bad. Now I'd like the music to end just before the character says, not bad. If I scrub my playhead, um. it's roughly 23 seconds as you can see in the current time indicator. So I really want the music to end right before the character says his line. So we'll go ahead and move the play to the beginning of the timeline. And I want the music to appear in track five. Make sure the track is selected. Selected tracks appear white. Once a track is selected, you can go down to the search tab, right click on the music and choose Spot to Playhead. Notice this adds the music right at the playhead location in the track that was targeted. Now if I play this, you'll see that the music is just a few seconds short of where I want it to be. Not bad. I really want the music to end right about here where he says not bad. So we're going to do a little audio stretching. I'm going to make sure the clip is selected. Notice it's a dark green color. Then I'm going to go to the process menu and choose time stretch. I can choose different methods of time stretching. I can stretch by seconds, time code, frames, drop or non-drop frame. I'm just going to choose seconds. And in the field, I'm going to type 23 because that's where the guy starts speaking. I'll click OK. Now what just happened? Well, if you look down in the file editor, you'll notice the natural end of the song is right here at the end of this gray marker. However, there's this light region here, which indicates there are now additional frames I have access to. So I'm gonna move my mouse to the end of the music clip until I get the drag icon, and then I'm gonna just pull this out. Notice it ends at about 23 seconds. Now let's play this to see how it works. Not bad. Not bad. It actually works pretty good. So what exactly just happened? Well, if you look in the Actions tab, a time stretch action was applied. If I go ahead and uncheck the box, it goes back to the way it was. In fact, let's play it without the stretch so you can hear the difference. Now let me turn it back on. So what you have is a slight change in tempo, but not a change in pitch. 
As long as you don't push this too far, your audience will never know that you time stretch the music. Our final step is to send our mix back to Final Cut Pro. Go to the File menu and choose Export. In the Save dialog that appears, make sure Master Mix is selected. Under File Type, choose AIFF. Make sure your bit depth is 16 bit 48 kilohertz to match the sequence sample rate in Final Cut Pro. Then in the After Export pop up, choose Send Files to Final Cut Pro Sequence. Let's name the file Final Music Mix, then click Export. Once exported, Final Cut Pro will automatically become active and an Import XML dialog will appear. You can choose the project you want the sequence to come into or you can create a new project. I'm going to bring it back into the original project we started with. Then click OK. In the browser, the Final Music Mix shows up as a sequence. If you double click it, the Final Music Mix was automatically placed in channels 1 and 2 in the Final Cut Pro timeline. Let's play back the portion to verify that the mix was properly brought back into Final Cut Pro. Not bad. Of course. It's a Ducati. And there you have it. From Final Cut Pro to Soundtrack Pro and back. Thanks for watching.